Hello and welcome to Revamp with the Champ. This is episode one of season one and remember if any point in this video you smile or your taste buds are awoken, feel free to hit the like button because you liked it and you can't lie. So for episode one, we will be doing breakfast burritos. These are your breakfast burritos with egg, potato, potato cheese, and sausage. So the basic ingredients are that, it's got some potatoes, and so that's what we will be doing. But better. So we got the frozen burritos, and then we have the ingredients bowl. So, I'm going to start on these right away. And basically what you do, you just take one of these burritos and you pop it in the microwave. But we're going to wait to the end to do that. Potato. I got a medium sized potato. I'm going to poke some holes in it. Both sides. Pork. Stick in the microwave about a minute and 30 seconds. So while your potato is in the microwave, I'm going to get your pan going nice and hot. I have a medium sized pan. So get that hot. It's going. Then you're going to want some vegetable oil. Vegetable oil is ideal, but I suppose if you use, never mind, just use vegetable oil. Alright, now that you've got your potato, you want to slice it up. And boom. Now you want to take these, and you want to put them in there with the oil. Just a nice layer of oil in the bottom. Should be able to hear that when you cut these in. See them bubbling. Now this might be too much for what we want to do. It might be too much for the for the burrito, so we might have some left over. And if we do, that's okay. Just we can set them aside for tomorrow, or just eat them on the side, whatever. Okay, we've got the potatoes cooking. Now we need to go to our ingredient bowl and we need to get our eggs ready. I have two eggs, one with some half and half. Half and half. So, side note, we're going to be using some seasoned salt on these potatoes. Sometimes I'll use something else. It really depends on what you want. If you're going for more of a Mexican flavor, or what. But this is kind of just a, a regular flavor. So give them a flip. Give them a seasoning. Once you flip them again, make sure to season them after, again, after you flip them. So, after these. Two eggs, and then just a dash of half and half. People always go a little overboard with that half and half. It has to be just a tiny bit, so that you really get that nice yellow egg mixture. Sure. 
potatoes, we really want to see a nice brown texture, like you see here. Just a little bit right there. A nice evenly coated brown. Once we start to flip it and we start to see the first brown, that's when we want to start the eggs. Because the eggs will only take about a couple minutes to scramble in the pan. So I'm flipping them. But I can see that it's not quite, not quite there yet. A minute more and we will be good to go with these leftovers. I just see some brown in there. They're not quite done, but we can turn our pan on to hot. Like a nice medium heat, get that ready for the oil and the grease and the eggs. And I already seasoned these, so we're good to go with that. So our egg pan is about ready to go, and those are turning out wonderfully. So now we're going to throw in some grease. Some bacon grease. Some people use butter, some people use olive oil. I use bacon grease because that's all I have. So I mean it's delicious. So here we go. I took those off the heat, those are done. So now we can just take a little bit. You don't want one too much. Like that. That much bacon grease. And this is all natural bacon grease. Got from the bacon. Not from the stove. I mean the bacon. So, since these eggs are going to be kind of a Mexican thing, I will be using a chipotle seasoning and that should be really good on these. My pan is nice and hot, my grease is melted. Mm. Throw these in. And we're good. Guys, but whenever I'm making a burrito with these in it, I like to drain the grease. I like to put them into a strainer just so that there's like the grease can drip down. So instead of just dropping them in there to really minimize the grease, just scoop it up. Season. to cook the sausage. So I just did that, but now it is time for the construction of this burrito. So, here we are. Preparation time. So we're going to say, we're going to want to put, cut a version of the sausage down first. Alright. Now 
that's what it is. Now let's see if we can wrap this thing. And boom. It's wrapped. Now in the same pan that I cooked the sausage and the eggs, and we got uh, just cinch the bottom so it doesn't come apart when I'm trying to eat it. Or can't pour it. Alright, so now I've got my pan heated again. I'm gonna slip that there. Try and keep it together. For a moment. Alright, so now we've got a nice round toast on the bottom pan. We can serve it up. Frozen burrito here. It says to microwave it for a minute and 20 seconds. So that's what we're going to do. Alright, so now that I have both burritos done, this is my burrito and this is the frozen burrito. So here's a, a bit of a comparison. Quite a size difference, and mine looks much better than this one. This one kind of looks weird. Now it's time for the taste test. Right. This is my burrito. It's good. And it has the egg and the chipotle flavor really stands out that I put on the eggs. Now for the frozen one, which is supposed to be the same ingredients and everything. Well, it's still good. But this one kind of has a watery, sauce weird flavor, where this one is, it's all bite and no giving. So, I would say 10, this one, like a 5 out of 10, because it's microwave, I mean, come on. And this one is, since I made it, it was a 9 out of 10, of course, because it really had a nice, robust flavor. And this had a nice flavor too, it's just that it was a weird texture, and this kind of got stuck in my teeth a little bit. So. Thanks for watching guys, and if you like this type of video, make sure to like the video, and subscribe for the rest of the season.